Every day, a developer has to face one thing for sure, and that's API. API testing, debugging it, documenting it, automated testing, and oh boy, this is a pain when it comes to do all of this in one place. Now, before you guys try to outsmart me by telling me about Postman, let me tell you, it's a mandatory login with no scratch pad support, higher in cost, and it's a bulky electronic client that starts slowly and operates with a lag and definitely limited capabilities for API design and automated testing. But boss, what about Thunder Client and blah blah alternatives? Ah, nice, but sadly, their limited functionality without logging in and ugly UI is a big turn off for me. Alright, enough yapping. So what else we have? Hmm, after a long research of a drinking to Diet Coke, I found this tool and man, you guys should thank me for this one. Okay, when I found Echo API, I was kinda confused if that's my love of API. But man, you don't need to log in and scratch pad support is available, fully compatible with Postman script syntax. Okay, that's a turn off. Documentation of any software that arouses me. And Echo API played a good role here. They really have a clean documentation, guys. When I was looking for what else did they have, so I found they currently have these four things like Echo API SaaS and API development collaboration platform for API design, debugging, and yep, stress testing and stuff. And they have Echo API for VS Code that's a free and supports collaboration, manual data, bi directional synchronization, so it's an extension for VS Code. They have Echo API for intelligent idea, and ah, I hate intelligent IDs anyway, so we won't talk about this one. They have Echo API Interceptor to do API request capturing and fast debugging. Now since we are chronically VS Code addict, let's talk about the VS Code one. Uh, as their website says, this plugin is suitable for developers, testers, and anyone who needs to interact with APIs. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced professional, you will benefit from it. Means it's for us guys. Now let's go to the VS Code extension marketplace in the search bar, let's type Echo API for VS Code. And after installation, uh, let's not forget to restart VS Code. Now enter the Echo API for VS Code and create a new request or maybe create a new folder. Imagine you need to test an API with these details. Just feed this info into the Echo API request form and you are ready to fire off the request. And the good thing is, Echo API can also generate code snippets for CURL commands, JavaScript exos, and you can also import curl requests into Echo API, which will automatically create a request for you, then format the JSON or XML content with the format button. However, without login is supported, but by clicking on this dot 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 next to the product name and selecting the manage account, you can go to the login screen. And after logging in, you can collaborate with your team, generate documentation, and explore so many features. So just log in, it's better than having fear of missing out any day. And I have used tons of API testing tools. And on a serious note, Echo API is very promising. I used Postman, Thunderline, Hopscotch, but oh boy, they're kind of boring and cringe for me. Ah, but okay, let's have a simple comparison for Postman fanboys. Echo API for VS Code is free and can be used offline without logging in. And that's better advantage over Postman. And man, this UI is pretty cool. I guess I find my love of API, if not the love of life at least. And I'll see you in the next one.